Hello. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Welcome to the stream. Is anybody having, like, severe problem connecting to Twitch at the moment? And I'm just mean, like, just loading the pages. I seem to be, like, my internet's fine with the streaming and everything of the sort. But it just, it took me, like, five minutes of attempting to just get on Twitch on their desktop site. Like, the, the chat thing was not loading and nothing was loading. It was just taking, it was just timing out all the time. But I could, I could like, load up Google and Twitter and stuff and YouTube. But Twitch is just, like... Twitch is just shitting itself right now. It happened some weeks ago, but not anymore. Maybe it's coming back. Is that, I don't know what's... Uh, I don't know why that's happening. It's weird. It's very strange. Yeah. I made some... Uh, I made some more chicken, like sweet and sour chicken balls for my dinner today. Uh, not great. It wasn't good. I, I mean, I did like everything that the recipe said, but I think it was the way that I put them in the oil. I didn't have enough oil, and they were like halfway in the oil, half in the air. So like half of it was being cooked, and then as I attempted to turn them around. So the other side could get cooked. The batter just fell off the chicken. So it might have been because I didn't have enough oil. Or maybe I should have put something on the chicken first before putting it in the batter. Maybe like egg wash or corn flour. I don't really know. Either way, all the batters kind of just fell off. So that's unfortunate. But I did. it did taste okay. It tasted a bit, well, the batter was a little bit like soggy. But the chicken itself was fine. The sweet and sour sauce I made was good. Which was annoying because I, 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 I looked up a recipe and it said you needed a pineapple juice. So I bought pineapple juice. And not like the car and cheap kind, but I, I I bought like a bottle, like a plastic bottle of of pineapple juice, the expensive kind. Because they didn't that's the only one they had. Um and it I looked up other recipes and it didn't need it. I was like, oh. So, so I put some in anyway, just to give it that extra sweetness. And it wasn't as tangy as I wanted it, but it still tasted sweet and soury. Like, it was close. It was close to it. This bit of crispy chicken, it all fell off it. So, I've I've done I've done fried chicken a numerous times, and this is what I usually do. Um, and it pretty much works almost every time for me. It, the batter never usually falls off. So, I put my chicken in egg wash first. Um, and then I put it in corn flour. Like, I put lots of corn flour on it. And then I put it, it, no. No, 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 no. No, forgive me, sorry. It's corn flour first. So, like, the chicken in the corn flour. Get all the corn flour. Um, and then in the egg wash. And then in the, the, the batter. I use, um, crushed up corn flakes for my, my fried chicken. Um, with some, like, cayenne pepper and paprika and things like that. I sort of just put it in a plastic bag and mash it with a, a rolling pin. Um, and then I shallow fry it in a frying pan. Um, and it usually c turns out pretty good. But it's, it's always, it's, there's always, like, different ways. Like, if you want, like, really soft batter. I think if you want soft batter, it is the hardest thing to do because it just tends to fall off. But if you do, like, crispy like crispy rough batter usually it's quite it's a bit easier but the, the one thing that i missed out when i first started frying chicken was corn flour uh if you don't if you don't put corn flour on first before the egg you put in egg wash um the egg wash doesn't usually stick to the chicken but it does stick well to the corn flour um so that's how i do it but sweet and sour chicken balls, I don't know how the fuck you do it, honestly. I followed the same, the exact recipe, and it just did not do it the same way as it did for the, for the people on the video. Anyway, um, so this is a, a kind of a surprise. I only thought about it this morning to do this, but we're going to play Stardew Valley. Um, the stream started to struggle on my end now, too. You manifested. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry. It's weird. Like, my... My internet is completely fine, but it just seems to have like weird like bottleneck 
connections to just random places. It's weird. But we're going to play some Stardew Valley. I have never played this before. And I've had this game for years because my friend gifted it to me for my birthday like four years ago. I've never opened this game. I've never installed it on my computer. And it's it's because I, I don't particularly play um, these cozy, cushiony games like this. I, I tend to play a bit more intensive games. Uh, as, as you can see, I'm like the biggest walking Bayonetta fan of all time. Um, and I play games like that usually in my free time. But considering this is a, a shuffle Sunday, I had no other ideas. And that was on my Steam list. I thought, why not? Why not? So, we're going to go into it. I'm actually looking, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. Oops, I forgot to put in the game capture. Let's, uh, we're still on the long drive. Do, 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 do. There we go. We got it. I have to make sure that the desktop audio is all fine. I think it will be okay. So, new game. I think that audio is okay. Okay. I've always thought that this was very similar to Terraria, uh, as close as with the pixelated kind of sprite art style. So, okay. Let it be known that I am finest. My farm name. Oh, and the name of my farm. Um, I don't know. What's like a cute kind of name? Maple, apric apricorn? <laughs> Apricot farm? Not so amazing farm? I don't know. Hmm. How about... Acorn. <laughs> I'm gonna be... Re I'll just be very basic with it. Acorn. Bomb. And my favorite thing. Can this be anything? My favorite anything. Um... Coffee? I'd probably just do that. I give, uh, you know, I give myself a capital letter. Oh, I gasped by accident. <laughs> uh, okay, my guy. Oh, can I have a look and see what I look like? Animal preference. Oh, oh my god, that one's very DB. I like that one. I think I'll choose that. Uh, what does my hair usually look like? It's kind of like. Maybe like that? Or I like mine. My hair's kind of uh, messy. So I. Yeah. Uh, kind of like that. Yeah. Sometimes I have a parting in my hair like that, but that's fine. But what the fuck is that? It's the, the diamond, Minecraft diamond armor. There. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And I'll give. I'll just wear normal trousers. Ew, a beard? No thanks. Oh, I can change my pants color. I want to change it to like a nice brown. So it kind of represents me. Quite a bit. I think that's good enough. I'm very. I'm very basic looking, but I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, these are different kinds of farms as well. Standard beach, meadowlands, riverland, forest, hilltop, four corners, wilderness. There's plenty of good land here, but beware at night the monsters come out. Wait, there's monsters in this game? I didn't know there was monsters in this game. What are these, like skeletons? Zombies? Is this Minecraft? The woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Riverland, your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here. You start with a fish smoker. 
It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. I think I might just go with standard because I'm a bit afraid that I might put myself in a bad situation with these different kind of farms. So I'm just going to go with standard. Just bear with me a second. Whoop. Just gonna move some of my things over to my monitor. Okay. My very special grandson. Oh, I was gonna say that's a very weird bed. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Like it's like kind of got you got it off Amazon for like ten pounds. It's like, you know, there's outdoor tables that you can get. They just kind of, like, makeshift that into a bed. There will come a day where you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, God. I feel, no, I feel it now. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Is Grandpa dying? I think fan gamers sell pins of this scene. Is this a really, like, funny meme in the Stardew Valley community? Because of how weird it is? Like, the with the bed and everything? It is? Okay. What the hell? Just in case you ever wanted a pin of Grandpa dying on his fucked up table bed. So he was dying. Oh my god, is that Woody? What's he doing there? Wow, this is very dirty. Look how dirty these desks are. Is that me? Life's better with Joja. Joja! Have you learned nothing? Am I crying? Dear Finest, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed this deed to that place. My pride and joy, Acorn Farm. I know it's boring. It's boring. I couldn't think of anything clever for the name, but it's fine. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Wow, okay. That's quite a coincidence. My middle name is Lewis. There are mods to make this bed even more fucked up. Oh no, I've doxxed myself. Now people know my middle name despite them not knowing my actual first name either. It's really funny that like it's the it OBS is capturing the game and not Steam. Because just now so one of my friends list just popped up in the corner. He's playing Dragon's Dogma 2. But his it's the profile picture is his face that is like absurdly pink. Like as if he's he's got a rash or something. <laughs> uh, hello, you must be finest. I'm Robin the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Oh, look how gross and dirty this farm is. So, I've only played- the only kind of farming game- Okay, the only two farming games I've ever played is Farmville, back in like 2011, where everyone was raving about it on Facebook. Or, uh, Fever Pinata, if that counts. I think that counts. And I think Viva Pinata is one of the best games of all time. It is amazing. And I'm sad that it's there's no PC version of Trouble in Paradise. You have to like emulate it. Oh, 
Looks like I got a lot of work cut out for me. What's the matter? Is my PNG tuber covering anything too much up? Do you think I should move my PNG tuber in a different location? Maybe in like the top left corner or something? Or top right? Hmm. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. This is nice. It's a nice little log cabin. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into Grandfather's old cottage. He died in there, you know. <laughs> it's a good house, very rustic. You can still smell the blood. It might cover up a bit of the toolbar when you start playing. Uh, okay, should I... Let me move... Um, where should I put him? Should I put him up here? Would this be better? I'll put him there. I think that, that will be good for now. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Finest. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. 50 coins to get rid of the body. Uh, anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Wait till you stop playing. You might end up covering the UI. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll 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 see what comes up and then I'll I'll I'll, I'll see where else I can put him. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, I hope they all like me. Because the last time I ran a town or was interacting with villagers, I mean, they liked me, but I, I felt like they weren't really contributing to the town by not donating to my bridge. Stupid little funny animals. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. I'll go, like a tooth fairy. Uh, th this box here? Yeah, it's gotta be. Five hundred simoleons. Okay. Check. Check what? Uh, okay, so I've got an axe, a hoe, watering can, a pickaxe, and a scythe. I always feel like a scythe is not an appropriate word anymore, because everyone just kind of assumes that scythe is like, you know, the devil. Not the devil, the Grim Reaper. Oh yeah, I seem to be covering up that top, uh, that the, hold on. Might have to flip him over. Oh, that won't work. Hold on. Wait, if I put him here. I need to turn my two PNG tuber around. He looks a bit weird like that. Oh, he looks strange being flipped over like that. It's fine. Huh? Wait, can you see you see, like, a little, uh, oh. There's a little line. Maybe I'll put it down here so it hides it. I think that will be fine. Okay. Uh, um, okay, so I have a package. Parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnips. There's a little something to get you started. But I hate parsnips. Sorry, I, I don't I don't like them. It's one of those weird ones where I, I like the smell, but I don't I don't like the taste of them. I don't know why. It's like sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes either. There's a there's something something about it that seems a bit like I don't know something that you expect to be savory, but is kind of weirdly sweet. I'm just not. It's it's strange. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna turn the audio down just a little bit more. I have that weird, that weird thing where I, like I can't properly concentrate and talk when there's music in my ears. Bread versus American bread. Yeah, when I visited America, um, I tend to avoid the bread because it's very sweet and it is very weird. Um, if you want to become a farmer, you, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay. Um, so what do we do to clean this place up? Do we use the pickaxe on the rocks? Yes. Oh, I can just use any this on anything. Or is it better if I use... Is that a shovel? Oh, no, is it a hoe? Oh. Oops. Wait, I'm using a... Wait, what am I... No, I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, that's better. Yeah. A single mom who works two jobs. I'm a survivor. Yes, this definitely reminds me when, when playing uh, Viva Pinata, and it's it's almost quite satisfying when you're cleaning up all of the bad stuff, like all the, you know, the dirty patches of uh, of uh, dirt and rocks in the ground and shoveling up things you get little pieces of chocolate money so i'm hoping i get the same kind of experience as uh when i played Sadu uh when i played viva pinata this definitely might be something to come back to when i get the chance um this might become like an ongoing series, maybe. I don't know. It depends how how fun I'm having, really. And but then again, this these streams could be kind of boring. <laughs> it's just it just all kind of depends. Um, okay, so did it? What did it say to do? It said to use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the till so it's grow a crop. Is this wait? Is this already tilled when it's got a little hole like that? And then it's there, and then water it. Yeah. Okay. I guess I've 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 made a crop. Yay! I can I can see why people would spend a lot of time on this game, uh, for sure. Uh, which way was town? Is it this way? Oh, this is all. This is storage to sell things. Okay. Gotcha. Is there a map? Uh, map. There's my farm. It's question mark. Is this, this is town square. Okay, so I am going the right way. You want to live here. This does seem like a really nice place to live in. Oh! <laughs> Just go to the first guy and he's like, Oh, hey, a new villager. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. Scythed you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. 
perform regular checkups with and medical procedures from all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Okay. Uh, is there someone in here? The Star Drop Saloon. Oh, there's an old woman over there. Why, hello. Welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay. Hi, uh, hi Granny. Is there a dog? Dog walking by. Reminder, you can be gay in this game. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. There's nothing worse than having to subject myself to a relationship with someone who I'm not attracted to. Where is everyone? Oh, there's, there's a couple more. Hello. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Wait, what did you think? Did you think I was ugly? I mean, well, <laughs> wow, I thought you are uglier in person than I thought. <laughs> Hello, you must be Finus, the new farmer and Caroline. Okay. Uh, my husband runs the general store, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. It's quite a little town. It's very exciting when someone moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I bet it, bet it can. Who's this uh, Dragon Quest looking character? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's not the point. Just because I seem okay doesn't mean I'm not a stranger. Imagine, like, a guy comes with a, a van that says free candy on it, and he comes out and he's like, Oh, hey, kids, wanting some free candy? And they're like, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, but my vibes with you don't really give me any red flags, so yeah, sure. I can see that your chakras are aligned. You fit the vibe. Let's go get Baja Blasts. There's a question mark here. Oh, it shows people's birthdays. Wow, there's a lot of birthdays in... Wait. In this month? There's like so many birthdays this month. It's crazy. Hi, Technical Tiger. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Who's this? Hello? Who are you? I don't want to sit down. <laughs> I want you just the one who... Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. But it can also cause loads of drama. Like... You know that bitch Maru? God. About the glasses and everything. She's like, you're talking to me. Uh, 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 well, uh. Did I say Maru? I meant Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Of course you do. Miss Blue Hair and Pronouns. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Um, okay, I've got some more people to meet. Uh, oh, wow. I've got loads of people to greet. Jesus. Can I actually go inside of these buildings? Oh, I can go in here. Oh, who's that? Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Okay. Who are you? Oh, okay, it's Pierre. Okay, I'm fine with any sort of supplies at the moment. Just making my face known to the to the village. Oh, that's that's a new guy. Who's that? Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Oh, okay. I've already forgotten your name. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. I smoke 20 packs. 
Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Yeah, you seem like that type. She kind of looks like my auntie, actually. The one that I'm kind of too awkward to talk to. Um, to be fair, I'm kind of awkward talking to a lot of my family members. I almost feel like almost estranged from them. Like I don't recognize, I don't, I don't know. They're just completely different to who I am. It's weird. Wow, look at you Goku hair. Hey, I'm Sam and good to meet you. Oh, can I not talk to him anymore? Okay, well. Like, my, one of my aunties is really funny because that she's proper, she's properly on, on Facebook. Like, real, like, really on Facebook, I'm telling you. And she did this thing once with her boyfriend. Maybe fiancé, maybe husband, can't remember. She did this thing where, like, she was trying to make it seem like they're, they were going on dog walks. Like, or walks around the woods near their house. Maybe on farm fields and, and things like that. And pretending to find wild lions and snow leopards and very clearly exotic creatures that just do not have a habitat in the United Kingdom. But she, she'd do it just by like, not really photoshopping, but just taking images off Google Images and posting it on Facebook. And being like, wow, look at this lion right on our doorstep. And I'm like, who are you fooling? You're fooling no one. No one's gonna believe this. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Hello, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay. Cool. I have to introduce myself to so many people. Your family is AI generated. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, they're quite bizarre. They're quite. They're quite a weird family. But you know, they're my family. It's not like I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm no better, am I? So I'm just as weird as they are, but they're just- they're weird in different ways. They're weird in ways, like, not many people can really relate to them, or be understood in that way. But that's okay. Uh, it's getting dark, so I, I should probably head back. Maybe I can introduce myself to more people tomorrow. But it's- it's nice. Is that my- that's my crop. Can I check how good it is? Do I have to water it again? I don't really know. I'm sure it's okay. How do I fill these holes? Um... Cultivate harvest of parsnip. I was going to take to grow a parsnip. Maybe I'll just, uh, keep cleaning this- these bits up. I can see that my energy bar in the bottom right is to sin is to in in indicate. That was the one of the things that I rem I know about the game is like it has an energy meter. You have to like go to bed, otherwise you'll like pass out on the ground. That's the only thing that I that I recall from this. It's getting quite late. Maybe I should honk shoe honk shoe. It's getting quite dark. Maybe I should head inside and just go to sleep. Oops, I'm gonna. Don't wanna. Don't wanna pickaxe my door. Thanks. No. Yes, go to sleep. Well, that was a nice first day. You can see the line on my PNG tuber from the green screen. Let me see if I can adjust that. Um. E oh. 
that there. I think that'll be okay. There we go. Okay. Good morning. I hope my crop is doing okay. Oh my god! It spurted a little bit. Now that is farming 101. Better water it again, you know. We're making great progress. So just before the stream, I wanted to see if there was, um, if I could find this really, really old video. Really old. It was, um, it was an old beatboxing video, but it wasn't proper beatboxing, it was just, this guy just took multiple video clips of himself making beatboxing noises and then he edited them together. And I remember watching it when I was a kid, back in like 2011, and YouTube has gotten pretty bad with their searching algorithm when you're trying to find really old videos because obviously they want to promote new videos. Um, so if you've watched a video like before 2010, it is like next to impossible to find it. Almost like n n no chance. You would have to like find it on different means. Um, and I managed to find it just by putting in keywords on Google, by putting like old YouTube viral video beatboxing edited guy and it came up with it and I was actually very very shocked. It was from 2006 so that was 17 years ago um, and I'm very happy that I found it. I think it was on RudeTube uh, at one point if you guys remember that channel. It was basically like YouTube viral video compilations before people just started making them on social media. It was like an actual TV show of people of just showing viral internet videos. And I used to I used to really like and enjoy watching it. This is not very an exciting stream. <laughs> But, you know, it's for the, it's for the Stardew Valley fan lovers and just for a chill stream, just to talk about things, I suppose. Trying to come up with as many conversations as possible. One of the things it's like people advise is to be able to be confident with, with not, like, not being afraid of what to say. But I'm like... That's really great advice and all, if anything just came to mind in the first place. I'm not afraid of not saying anything, it's just nothing is coming to my noggin. Is it me or is the PNG tuber unsync? Is it? Is it actually? Um, it, it, is it like it's, if I'm not talking and it's still lingering just a couple of seconds later? Oh, it's fine now. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, I wouldn't know uh, what to do about that. Yeah. I should also go back to Dave the Diver at some point. I did play it for actual considerable amount of time, and then I, I think I got about halfway through the game, and then I stopped playing it because I think I started playing something else, and then I, I, I took a break from it. It... It might have been Lies of P. No, because I think I played Lies of P before Dave the Diver. I remember what I did. But Dave the Diver was quite similar to this where you um, you had like a limited time to grab your resources and stuff like that depending on how much oxygen you have and how much uh, you, you can carry and things it was quite cool but um yeah got a message hello there just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime i've got something for you willie okay Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. 
Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Um, well, it's only 12.20, so I guess I can go down and have a look. It's a beach. Wow, that's quite, kind of far away, isn't it? Is it that? Oh, no, it's Elliot's cabin. Wait, where's the beach? Is that the beach? No, it's a desert. Where's the beach? Let's go to the beach, each. <laughs> Fish shop. Oh, it's there. Okay. So is it best to go south or go through the town? Yeah, oh, we go through the town, yeah. Okay. Ninky Majaj. Isn't, like, Nicki Minaj kind of losing her mind right now? I'm just, you know, there's that whole beef, 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 beef with Megan the Stallion. And now she's like, fragment, 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 foot, fragment. I don't know. But maybe she's, like, hitting that kind of age where she needs to retire. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally see ya. Didn't she get caught using AI? She did, yeah. It was for her album. I think she called it, like... She was trying to make, like, a universe kind of thing. Um, I can't remember what it was called. But, yeah. Isn't her husband a child toucher and she defended him? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a, yeah, I think, like, yo, that's it, Gag City, yeah. Um, but yeah. And uh, Megan the Stallion, like, made a diss track about her and, and her, like, gross husband. And, um, she responded in, like, the worst way possible. Hi, RJ. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. I want to have my old fishing rod. Oh, okay. It's important to me that you are the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. A bamboo pole. Okay. Isn't it weird that, uh, I only found this out the other day, that bamboo is not considered wood. I think that's so weird to me. Because how uh, it's more associated with wood things, but it's not. It's like a type of grass. Which, it would explain because pandas do eat bamboo, but it's like, it's, it's used to create, like, structures and things. So you would think it's like a type of wood. Bananas are a type of grass. I thought they were just fruit. Why are they why are they a type of grass? Is it just the way they're grown? They're stalks. Oh. Alright. It's crazy how like f some things can be shaped based on like where they're facing and how they're grown and where the sun is. Like, that's why they curve, because the way they grow, they grow downwards, and but they have to go towards the sun, so that's why they curve. And that made me wonder if there's, is there, is, does anyone have a straight banana? <laughs> like a, an uncurved banana. Does anyone have that? I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what old Poppy used to say anyway. Should we, should we fish right now? Oh! Wait, okay, let me try again. Wait, is my inventory full? Or is this my inventory? How do I... Is this in my entire inventory? Do I unlock these or something? Maybe I have to, um... 
put some things away. I think I'll come back, because uh, my storage is full at the moment. Straight bananas are a thing and they look very unsettling. I have to look now. I need to see. I need to see what they look like. Ew! <laughs> Ew. Oh, it looks so odd. It's like it got scared. Like someone jump scared it and it- Do you know what- like when goats, uh, when they get scared they go stiff. It's like that. They go from curved to straight. Oh, it's so odd. Okay. Well, that's that's um, something I never thought I'd, I'd look at, but okay. Great. Oops. Oh, I think it's wood. What's that? What is this? Do I get to trade spirit orbs here for stamina and health? Shelma. I've had straight bananas before, but I don't agree with their choices to be straight. No. It's unnatural to the order. To the to the to the religious order. We need to send them to camps to make them curved again. Or what whatever the fuck they did with left handed people. I always find it funny whenever someone notices that I'm left-handed and they're like, they're sort of like taken aback a little bit. They're a little like surprised because how rare we are. Like, I was, um, I was, uh, my last job, I was just at my desk and my boss walked by and she noticed that I was writing with, you know, my left hand. And she was like, are you left-handed? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh. Well, it's just, it's just, it's just so rare to see. And I'm like, I'm a minority. <laughs> Maybe I should, like, plant more parsnips instead of just one. Um, Then maybe we're going to have, like, a better situ- Like, a better kind of crop. Oops! Oh, I didn't mean- Oh, that's fine. No, it's okay. It's fine. There we go. Wait, did I- Was I mean- yeah, this was the hoe. I did it with the hoe, yeah? Yeah, right. okay, cool, right. Um, plant. 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 Yes. And then, that's water. Oops. Can you overwater the plants? I'm sure that'll be okay. Um, I don't have much energy, so I'm going to have to wait for tomorrow to go back to town to say hello to some more people. So I'll just continue cleaning up here. My mom told me that she'd see kids at her school getting corrected to write properly with her right hand. And nowadays a lot of lefty elders... Or ambidextrous. Damn. Uh, yeah, because that was like a whole thing, wasn't it? That like left-handed people were, were uh, seen to be um, unnatural and evil. And so people were forced to write with their right hands. By re like really hor like kind of horrible means. I wonder if anyone still thinks that way. And just see what, what why. I, I'm actually curious what that originated from. Like... Was it something in the Bible or something? Or, like... I'm kind of curious about that. I mean, a lot of things... <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like a lot of things nowadays is like, well, I don't like that thing because it said so. Like, there's not even really, like, a, a proper reason why. You know? I respect the people who kind of treat it as, like, a guide to life kind of thing. But it seems a bit uh, unreliable when it tells people, you know, 
stone that guy because he writes with an ink with the his left hand that he, it's it's bad and i don't can't explain why it's just it just is because a guy from 2000 years ago said so anyway <laughs> left-handedness became more common when we stopped p persecuting it i mean yeah that that seems to be the way it goes for a lot of things yeah That was like um I really hated it when um my mom always said like I, no I should I really shouldn't put them on blast but it, it, okay it would be people who would say things like um oh a lot of people are being over exaggerated with people who have autism nowadays because you don't see it, you never saw it back then like back in their day in the eighties and stuff and it's like well yeah because everyone hated like people being not the average person everyone who was slightly you know away from the status quo were persecuted and ridiculed and bullied and shunned away from society if someone ever showed to be slightly different than other people then negative stuff will happen to their lives that's why but once it becomes more accepting people come out and actually admit and and, and be more comfortable with it and be more recognized as a thing that they have I'm about to pass out. I should go, probably go to bed. Yeah, we didn't have autism back in the day because you didn't diagnose it. Exactly, yeah. No one, no one thought he was a thing. Autism has been around forever. It's just been called weird and unusual. Yeah, no one took it seriously back then. No one really recognized it as a thing. Or, like, they said, oh, why is it only been nowadays where people are now being called things like, you know, they have ADHD and ADD and all these conditions and stuff. And it's like, because people didn't give a shit back then. People didn't, like, recognize those things as actual problems. Because they just saw it as, like, I don't know, kind of weak and, I don't know. They just saw them as, as petty excuses for things. But now it's become more respected and more recognised as an actual condition. Then that's why. In my country, there is still very little support for people with any sort of mental illness to get actual help. They think it's normal. They think it's a normal thing. And... It, it can become a shocker to people when, you know, doctors or people who have experience with mental, il when mental illness tell them that it's a mental illness because they think it's normal. And, and then they finally understand. And it, but it's difficult. It's difficult convincing those, the pe those people. Because some people just don't, don't believe in it. They don't believe that these are actual mental problems. And that it's more of a, just a normal thing that people deal with. But we're glad to, at least we appreciate that we live in a more of a, a modern time where this is being recognized as an actual thing and being more validated. Do I have storage? Is it just this? But he comes around and, and takes things from it. Um. Do I have to unlock them? Oh, my, inv my inventory has been full for a while. Hmm. Oops. Um, raw material source from plants. You can make chests. How do I... Wait, do I... Can I craft things? Oh, crafting. Okay. 
chest. It requires 90 wood. Uh, I have 30 at the moment. Okay, so I'll just go... I'll just go grab some more wood then. Just do some from these trees. That was satisfying. What's all that? There's lots of like, seeds and stuff. so messy. I thank, you know, thank god that Stardew Valley never became like a mobile game because very much like possibly this would all be locked and it would take you two years to get to it. You can cut the stumps. Oh. Your axe isn't strong enough to break the stump. Okay. Oh, but the ones I've already cut down. Like the smaller ones. I'll have to get up. Oh yeah, like those ones over there. Like, I, I've, I played a lot of Cooking One Kingdom, and I do like it in some aspects. Um, but the one thing I really, really hate is just waiting. <laughs> but that's less very typical of a mobile game. It's just, like, waiting to for things to, like, be done and, th and everything. If that was gone away, I would have unlocked so much of my, my, villi my, like, area to put more buildings and stuff like that. But half of it is still, like, locked because I just need the items to, um, to get rid of it. But it takes so long and I don't have that kind of time in my day to keep going back and checking on it. Sometimes I just wish there were just like different versions of mobile games where there was just no waiting times anymore. Or at the very least like waiting times that are n not like three days. Or it's like, oh to make one item it takes three hours. It's like, why? You can play it on mobile, but... Oh, Stardew Valley. I was gonna say, isn't this game literally everywhere? Isn't it on every single platform ever at this point? I wonder how much money they made from Stardew Valley. This is like one of the most, pop like, most popular games of all time. This was on the Nintendo Wii? What the fuck? It's been out that long? I thought it came out later than the Wii. Damn. I was thinking maybe Wii U, but damn, I didn't know it was that long ago. This is certainly- it's been out for a while then, and it's still, like, popular. That's crazy. I'm joking? Oh. You know, I- I would have believed it, though. I would have believed it. I mean, Terraria came out in 2011, I think, or 2010, so was this possible? I don't know. I almost have enough to make a chest. I'm trying to get rid of all the stumps on the ground. All these little bits. It's not strong enough. Okay. You know, for some reason, I don't know why, but I, with these games, I always expect to have, like, a weird mystery. Like, you, like, go into the woods and then you find, like, a strange alien plant. And, a stra and then you, you go deep and then you find a, an alien civilization that came here, like, 500 years ago. And then you uncover, like, a bunch of historical lore. And then you use, like, gravity thrusters to make your farms automatic. Why are you putting in a bunch of emojis? 
I think it was because I really liked the whole Subnautica thing. Like, the Subnautica, I know that's like an alien planet, it's all futuristic and everything, but when you first go into the game, you don't really expect it. You don't really, you don't really know until you actually find it. But finding these weird ancient, like, alien structures and, and things like that, it was so cool to experience. Because you'd be just like, oh my god, what is this? This is weird. This is all, like, off, like manufactured. This is all um, artificial. This is not organic. Like, what the hell's going on here? And then you find out, oh, people were here before, and you find out the history and, and everything. That's what I really, really loved about Subnautica. And it's unfortunate that Below Zero was good. I liked Below Zero. I finished it. I I did I did like it. Um, but the thing is, is like with sub with the first game, there's so much like discovering when you first play it, and it's difficult to do it a second time because you already know what you're kind of expecting at that point. So you have to try and provide something new while having that same kind of discoverability. But it's hard to do it a second time. Cut down the trees. But I, I want I want to try and get the logs on the ground first. Oh. I didn't move the thing. Thank you. What does it say? Smelly smelly gamer feel. Is that what it what was it? Smelly gamer feet? Was it smelly gamer feet? Uh thank you for following me. I really appreciate it. I should move it. Uh, hi, smelly gamer feet. <laughs> It was a bit difficult for me to see when I when that happened, but I just heard the little bling kind of noise. So, thank you. Um, I should move the alerts over here next to my PNG tuber. Okay. Uh, right. I need to make a chest. Uh, crafting. Boom. Uh, how do I? So I have to throw it on the ground for now. Can I put, uh, was it, is there a best way to put these, I don't to just put them next to my house? Oh, beautiful. I can finally put some stuff in here. Stone, fiber, wood, coal, seeds. And I can sort out my, my hot bar now. I should probably use the rest of these parsnips as well. I should probably do that. Uh. Oh my god, I'm so low on energy. I could pass out. I should go to bed. Go to nighty nights. So tomorrow there's a thing you should check in town. Do you mean tomorrow's and now, or tomorrow's and like if I sleep again? My husband is Shane. Have I met Shane? I don't think I have met him. Oh, today. Okay, cool. There's a little letter. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I could do with something like that. That'd be really nice. Well, I gotta introduce myself to- Ooh, some little birdies. Anyway, uh, I should probably go introduce myself to more people. Because uh, I think I've only met half the town at the moment. Hello? <laughs> Why did I got weirdly reminded of- oh wait, there's a exclamation mark. Help wanted. The local small mouth ba ba base bass population is starting to threaten other species. If you can fish two of them for me, you'll be great help from Demetrius. 100 gold, you get to keep the fish. Okay. We'll uh, we'll grab the backpack and then we'll go and, f and do some fishing. It's locked. Open nine a.m. till nine p.m. Oh. Um. I guess I'll just um. Stall for time and try and find any more people I can say hello to. 
you'd probably marry Haley or Harvey. Um, most likely Harvey. Uh, <laughs> I've got to say, I've got to remember who Dana is. Um, check out the north part of town. Oh, okay. Oh, who was that? Oh, it was a trailer. Just saw some like come out. Hello. I think I've already met you. Oh, it's Alex. The air's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Are you the jock of the town? The himbo? Uh, I'm Penny. Oh, uh, hello. Who are you? That's uh, Shane. What do you want? Leave me alone. Oh. Oh, there, there's Shane. There's Shane! <laughs> He's the doctor? Oh. Yes, I remember now. Yeah. Joja Mart. Join us thrive. Joja Cola. Whoa. Uh, this is all ew. I don't like this. Welcome to Joja Mart. This is Morris. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris. Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. So you're gonna look at more stinky gamer feed. Okay. I hope you enjoyed... You, the little time that you were here, uh, I hope you have a good stinky feet evening. <laughs> uh, when you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to m help make your transition a joyous experience. Isn't Joja the company that I left? Never mind, just check out all the builders and you'll get there eventually. Okay. What the fuck did I join? <laughs> uh, you know, just a casual person coming in with stinky feet. Looking for stinky feet, I suppose. Uh, you look very tired. Are you okay? Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Oh, that's Shane. Oh, that's probably why he's so... um. He's so angry and so pissed off because he has to work in this horrible place. Can I fish anywhere? Can I, like, fish here? Let's see if I can catch those small passes. Oh, I need to go to the shop and get a backpack. Um, when do I... You can even fish in the fountain. You mostly catch trash, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, I guess suppose that's doing it a service, though. Why are people throwing their trash in the fountain? That's not good. Uh, what do I do? Click to raise bar. Uh. Oh, I got I got smallmouth bass. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Click and hold. Wait. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. You don't have to spam click. Oh. Well. I think I like this little life. This little life. Oh, damn it. Oops. I could hear the struggle. <laughs> 
Got some green algae. Lovely jubbly. Oh yeah, we're fishing. Got a soggy newspaper. Summoning them. Yeah, it's manifesting. Yes. Okay. Cool. Now I can go back and who do I who try to give it to? Who was who was who needed it? Who's this? How was your first night in the old cottage? It was good. Yeah. Bad. Uh, Demetrius. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me go get the backpack. Hello, Pierre. Uh, are you selling the? Pack. Um, is it here? Oh, vinegar, wallpaper, flooring catalog, cherry sapling, dehydrator. Oh, is that it? Backpack upgrade, 24 slots. Oh, what? It's 2,000? It's 2,000? What the hell? My Stardew secrets being kept from the public. Who's gonna tell him that you can't grow onions? SHIT! FUCK! All I wanted to do was grow onions! You need to make money in the farming game. Okay, but what was the- Why did you tell me, like, oh, there's gonna be a special something, though? Is that something different? I got excited for nothing. Ugh. It was Elliot. It's an objective. Uh, but you told me to come here today. It's a thing to save up and buy- Yeah, but you said check out something today. So, I, I, regardless, like, it was just, like, I was told about it in the mail. Like, the letter told me about it, but, like, I thought you meant, oh, if you go now, you can get the bag. What do you mean, the north of town? It's like advertisements. So that wasn't the objective. You know when you say- Oh, I thought you- I thought the bag was the thing you were talking about. This is what happens when you're so subtle with things. I didn't know I had an objective in the north. Um, we've all been expecting whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I'm living in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I gotta find Demetrius. Is it Demetrius? Yeah. Be on the map. There's not much to be done until tomorrow. Most of the guests start on the 5th. Oh, oh, quests. Okay. Uh, the, yeah, the map doesn't really tell me. I need to find Demetrius, though. What does he look like? Do the signs... Uh, does there anything to tell you whose house is who? Oops, sorry. I'm gonna fish your house. I press M. Demetrius is Robin's husband. Who's Robin? <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Okay. Marnie, a corn farm, Pierre Store, Emily and Haley, Mayor's Manor, Trailer, George, Evelyn, Alex, Saloon, Joe the Jojo Mart, Blacksmith, Museum and Library, Community Center, Question Mark, Fish Shop, Elliot, Ruined House, Leah's Cottage, Marnie's Ranch, Maybe I can't find him via this. Does he not have a house? Oh, who are you? Have I seen you before? Oh. Went in the shop. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Maybe you can. Why does this guy not want to talk to me? I feel a bit offended. Like he doesn't like me already. It's the one you didn't hover over that's really funny. Oh. Go to the store and then take the path up. Oh. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Maru. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Sound like a ball of fun. Oh, well, this is a pelican town. What is this? It's locked. Oh no, a stone in the middle. I'm gonna need a Pokemon to move that. Who knows how to use push. I can't swing. That's unfortunate. Oh, rock smash, that's it. Oh, it's push for the other one. Oh, strength, Theo, yeah, strength for the, the other kind of rocks. far up somewhere. That's really interesting that you never played Stardew, but I guess I didn't get into it until a year ago. No, I mean, well, these games like Stardew Valley aren't particularly games that I would I would play um, on a whim. I mean, closest I've come to something like this is Dave the Diver. Um, and I did really enjoy it, but I haven't finished it yet. It's difficult for me to really get into it. Do you want to know where Demetrius is? Yeah, I do, because it's getting late. Where, where's, where is Demetrius? Keep going up. Go up where? Like, up here? There's a path that goes north of town. Like, where this question mark is? Carpenter's shop. Oh, home of Robin, Demetrius, Sebastian, Morrow. Okay, cool. But yeah, I did, I did like, um, I wish, uh, I wish there was a more humane way of catching the fish earlier in the game because it's locked. Well. Demetrius, I have, I have, I have your fish. Can I come back tomorrow? I hope that still counts for tomorrow. I have his fish. You can, you can, he can have his fish tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. I, I thought that maybe it would have, like, expired or something. Oh. Take this back to my... Is it the last day of the quest? You can check. Um, 
Oh, two days. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Yeah, um, you have to, like, you have to, like, harpoon the fish and, you know, hurt them to catch them, like, early in the game. And that's the only thing that I kind of got a bit miffed, a bit eh about. I ha I, I kind of got over it, but then it was like, oh, you can, you can catch fish via a net and keep them alive, which made me... F it made it a bit more, you know, better. I know that they're still going to die and get turned into sushi, but it made it seem really, like, kind of cruel. It, yeah, very visceral, yeah. It just made me like, oh, I can see blood coming out of them by stabbing them with a harpoon to catch them. I wish I could just, like, I don't know. I think the trank dart and the, and the, 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 the net, the netting is, uh, was, is fine, but... Have you ever been fishing IRL? I have not, no. I've never fished IRL. But I think if I ever did, I think I'd just catch them and then throw them back. Just, I, I don't think I could I could ever catch a fish and then eat it. Because I think that's kind of cruel. I, I don't like seeing it in that way. It's like ignorance is bliss kind of thing. Like, I still eat meat. I am, like, a meat eater, but I don't, I just kind of don't pay attention to the bits on how they die and how they get turned into food. Most British people like me haven't actually fished. No, not really. It's not... It's not a... It's not a big thing here. I don't really... I've not... I actually don't know a single person who is into fishing. So, yeah. Fish is pretty hard to prep them. Mm, I bet. I think it's also, we, we don't have a lot of areas where we are able to fish. That's the thing. Like, even going to the seaside or the edge of the country to, to, to you know, the coast, I don't really see many people fishing. Because I think you need to be in some areas where you can legally fish. But I don't, I don't know where those are. They're quite limited, I think. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to initial L61091 Joja Co. amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. <clears throat> we apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value our continued support and patronage. So their drilling caused a landslide somewhere? That's horrible. You can catch some radioactive fish from the Thames. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be... Do that. Oh, I need to water my, 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 my parsnip plants. Okay, let's um, let's head back to Dimitri Dimitri's house so I can give him the fish. Community center. Is that where Demetrius is? No. <laughs> What what do you want me to go to the community center for? Let me just let me just calm down. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to do one thing at a time. I need to get this fucking f fish to him so I can get my gold, my Monet. There's a cutscene there. No, oh. isn't that today? 
You can also go to the mines if you want. Oh my god, there's so much to do! So much you're putting on me! Up wanted, looking for earth crystal. Cash payment on delivery. Where would you even get earth crystal? I'm not going to accept that because I don't know where to get that yet. Uh, where's the community center? Jojo Mart. Um, Town Square. Saloon. Oh, it's there. Oh. I was just up there. You have to enter the main town from the normal direction, not from Robin's house. Oh. Mountain. Oh, the cutscene doesn't trigger. Oh, that's interesting. So, like, from this part? So, shall I, like, go here, and then just go back? Ah, oh, there we go, got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. It's not that terrible. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. All kids want to do nowadays is charge them phones and I forgot what it goes like. God damn it. Charge their phones. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. That's it. Hot, eat hot chip and lie. And charge their phone. That's all Gen Z want to do. Isn't it weird that, like, in five or six years' time, it's going to be more normalized to say Gen Alpha more than Gen Z? Gross. All they know is twerk, be bisexual, charge their phone, eat hot chip, and lie. That's it. If anyone else buys a JoJo... <laughs> JoJo! Have you learned nothing? Uh, membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. <laughs> yeah, let's go inside. God, it's actually quite nice in here. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh! It's a tiny little thing. What? It was a Korok. Yeah! What's the matter? Are you ill? I also got- I got jump scared by an old ass piece of art merch I got from your red bubble like ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, from like what you have now, like you- you still have like in your possession. Was it uh, one of my FNAF stuff? I still have it? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I know that there are some people out there that have like uh, someone bought, like, a fox- uh, the foxy pillow that I drew. Things like that. Oh my god. It's a little- it's like an apple Korok. Yeah, oh fuck, it's the foxy pillow, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all gone now. No, they can't buy- you can't buy them anymore. All my merch has been removed now. Actually, no. 
Um, it's not that I've been removed. Uh, I've been banned. I've been banned off Redbubble. I can't sell anything on there anymore. I don't know why. Totally not going to Google to see it. You can try. You can try to find it. Um, I was mostly just trying to give you money. Yeah. Yeah. I... Uh, I, I just got an email from Redbubble like like half a year ago just saying like you've been you've been suspended your account's been suspended. I don't know if it's because like the things I sold were copyrighted material or what. I I can't remember. Wasn't it because you were too young when you made the account? It might have been they might have found out that I made the account when I wasn't old enough. Um but that does kind of suck because I could have sworn that I put, um, I do have a couple things. I, I have something on Redbubble, I think, and it was the lizard ramen, uh, drawing that I did. It was like a lizard holding a ramen cup and you could buy a sticker of it. Because my friend thought that it would be a good idea to make a sticker. It was so scary finding the pillow. I forgot I had it. You should burn it. <laughs> Real FNAF jump scare. Yeah. You should burn it and it becomes um, withered foxy or something. Like when the place gets set on fire in FNAF 3. Keep it as really, really old memorabilia from a time that shouldn't have happened. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Uh, I still need to find Demetrius. Is he maybe back? Is he in his house? If that error didn't happen, you wouldn't have gotten here today. I suppose that's true. I've I've learned from from things. I've learned from my mistakes back then. Oh, there are a lot of people in here. Is this Demetrius? Yes. Here's your fish. The smallmouth bass population were getting out of hand because overfishing of their competitive species allowed them to complete access to their favorite food. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. Oh, that's okay. I had to sort patient records for four hours straight. Oh, that sounds terrible. I hope you're getting paid enough. Oh, it's just like services and stuff. Those were the Skype days. God, yeah. You can pick up the flowers if you want. Oh. What, like, flowers that are just out and about? The yellow ones. Okay. Oh, like these ones here. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Daffodils. Nice. <clears throat> I, f I have a weird feeling that Skype is going to have a weird, like, revolution. Not revolution, but, like, um, resurgence. Because, like, th there are a lot of, like, question questionable things that Discord is doing. Um, that I feel like it's just going to get to a certain point where Skype is just going to be like, hey, look, we've completely, like, renovated, we've completely, uh, upgraded our chat thing, and now we also have channels like Discord does, and then everyone's just going to go back onto Skype. They make good gifts for people. Oh, okay. Then again, I never got IP doxed on Discord. I don't know if I can go back to Skype. Oh, oh! Um, maybe that, that might be the case then. I don't know. Maybe it's either that or, like, um, there'll be an alternative to Discord coming through. Because this is the thing, and it just becomes, like, a cycle of life kind of thing. Um, where, you know, like, back then... Oops, shit, sorry. Back then, when, like, everyone was using Skype and everyone was like, oh, I'm sick of Skype, I want to use something else. Then Discord came out, and it became this, like, oh, this is, like, new thing. It's just a small kind of company, and, you know, they're they're new, and it's a, it's a new thing, you know. And then, like, four or five years later, 
they gave up to for, they gave up to greed and corporate and companies sponsorships and all these like greedy bullshit things like discord nitro and stuff the end shitification of platform or service yeah let's go back to team speak god imagine that Someone had mentioned- wait, I have an exclamation mark in my journal thing. Oh, okay. Yay! Money! Like that. Okay, rat problem. There's something odd going on in the community centre. Investigate it. Okay. We'll do that and, and we'll uh, keep making up our, our farm. We've still got some parsnips where we can plant, so... Someone had, had said on a previous stream, um, they they were they used the com they used like a command um, to it was a nightly bot command to give them a Discord server link because they thought I had a Discord server because I'm a streamer, and I just said, uh, I don't I don't have <laughs> I don't have that I don't have a Discord server because um, you know. I don't have that much of an audience at the moment to really justify having one. And I've had one before and it was a nightmare. So if I were to have another Discord server, I would not manage it. I would I would hand I would give it to someone else to handle and I would just want to be like another person on the server. Like that's all I want to be. I don't want to be any sort of moderated privilege or have to deal with a bunch of people. I just kind of want to use it like everyone else uses it, and it's moderated by a few people. Like, and I think that would be great. Either that, or I completely limit the whole conversation subjects and stuff like that, and just make it like a a place for announcements or you know things like that. I don't know. I hate being a server owner and moderator. Yeah, it's it's a terrible time. It's a terrible experience. It made me really stressed. It made me very anxious. And it was just something that I shouldn't be dealing with. Or it shouldn't even be a thing to deal with. Yeah. I should probably start chopping down a couple of these trees. Let me just be a silly guy who posts silly funny art. Yeah. For me, I think as of recent, I've joined Discord servers just to find out some piece of information. Um, like, <coughs> I I spoke about this on a couple on, on another stream, but like. I'm, I don't like how these, a lot of information has become gatekept by Discord servers. Like, trying to figure something out, but it's no documentation online. And all you can find is, like, usually, like, a Reddit page or a GitHub repository that says, um, join the Discord server uh, for, for more support and more information. And it's like, or you could publicize this information and support online. Uh, have you ever thought about that, maybe? Like, literally, the, the past couple of things, the Discord servers I joined was something for, it was like a, it was a script for my editing software, so I could translate um, audio into text for TikTok clips. And then the one before that was how to make um, animations for a Minecraft mod. Because there was like a documentation bit online, but it didn't tell you anything about how to actually like set up the animation software. Um, <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Set up the animation software and how to export it and import it into a Minecraft mod. Like they just didn't tell you any of that, but it does tell you in the Discord server. 
And it's just like, like, just why are these people like locking all this information behind these servers and stuff? You have to spend ages trying to find it. And then you, you kind of become, you kind of feel like a nuisance asking these questions. Like, it's like Reddit. <laughs> it's like, you try to ask a question about something because there's no other documentation on how to do something. And then they all treat you like, like you're an idiot. Or a proper nuisance or an inconvenience that you're asking these questions. It's like, oh, why, how do you not know this? It's simply this and that. And it's like, what? Well, because you haven't posted this documentation anywhere. Level up foraging. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. And a field snack. Okay, cool. <coughs> oh god, my throat's quite dry. Sorry about that. Could you just be a kind person? I don't know why it's so hard a concept online, but it is. I, yeah, I know. People people get oddly defensive, uh, like whenever they're, or like like really, uh, you know, like kind of egotistical when they have a source of information, um, and then someone's asking a question, and then they're like, "Oh, do you not know this?" Like, I'm just like, bruh, just fucking can it. Like, quit it with the... With the cheek, the sass. I know you know more than me. Why are you making this more difficult? Just... Just tell me, okay? Like, yeah. It's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what grows. Oh, it's like a random kind of thing. Do with making another chest. Oh, oops. Uh, I thought this, oh, okay. I thought this was the chest. Oopsie daisy. Well, I've got two chests now, so that's, that's fine. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's okay. Anyway, I got a parsnip. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. Scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on new precious crops. Reach farming level 1 and craft a scarecrow. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a, co a coop or a barn so you can raise animals. Okay. Um, maybe I should go and buy some seeds from the store so I can plant more crops because I'm, I have got no more other seeds. <coughs> Apart from the random ones. Oh dear. I see we're getting uh, a bit of a, a sore throat a little bit. I've only got about, about 10 more minutes and then I'll call it for tonight. I probably will come back to this though. Oh. Oh, it's not open yet. Oh, there's a... Huh? 
What's that exclamation? Oops, sorry. Wasn't it? Okay. Mm. You want to buy a scarecrow at some point. Um, it says I need to go to farming level one. Um, and then craft one. That's one of my objectives. Yeah. <clears throat> The PG tube is a bit unsync, like it doesn't talk when you talk. Um, uh, uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's just the the program that's running my PG tube is just acting weird. Uh, okay, cauliflower seeds, potato seeds, kale. Uh, let's see. Um. Plant these in spring. Takes 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Grows on a trellis. Hmm. Plant these in the spring. Takes 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. There's a little delay. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what I can do about that. It's weird. Plant these in the spring. Takes 6 days to mature and has a chance of yielding multiple potatoes at harvest. Okay. I'll get some potato seeds. Uh, let's get four. And then plant those. I suppose I should get in the habit of actually putting um, my harvested plants in the box so Thingy, the guy, will come by and take them to give me money to sell them. I wanted to say that, from what I remember, you always just felt like a regular person in the server, not like celebrity who needed to book a reservation to talk to. Um, yeah. That is really what I wanted from from that. Um, unfortunately, I think it was a little bit of a double-edged sword, because I think a lot of people did appreciate that I, you know, I wanted to talk to pretty much anybody. Sure, there can be a times where there's a, a lot of, there could be a lot of people in there. Um, or wanted to talk to me at the same time, and I'm like, well, I can't do, I can't talk to everyone at one time. It's it's going to be too much. Um, but I did want to try to talk to as many people as possible. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh fuck. Um, that's okay. It's fine. I wanted to put the potatoes in a different kind of, in a different place, like a bit sep just separate. It's, there we go, like that. One, two, three, four. Um, but unfortunately though I feel like people got very close to me um, because I did give them that sort of attention and kindness and just being like a regular person like it seems like it's the right thing to do but unfortunately I like met a few people that kind of took that a bit too far and it was just they got kind of weird with me and uh, just it didn't it didn't work out for a couple of people it, it it grew some weird relationships and i felt like i was being obsessed over like too much and i'm like you need to calm down like i'm i'm just like a regular person want to talk to like a regular friend it's, do not put me on some sort of weird podium it's it's yeah you wouldn't believe the amount of people I basically had to say, hey, quit being a weirdo stalker to. Yeah. I like to talk to many people as I, as, as I can because I like being down to earth with people. I really do. But some people can't handle it. Some people get a bit too excited. And... It, 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 it generates a weird, a weird dynamic. I'm going to put that in the chat, in the, in the box. There we go. You can flatten the land if you hit it with your pickaxe. Really? Oh. Oh, cool. Okay.
I'm taking you can't get rid of these little, like, these things here. There's just, like, natural kind of things. Got a maple seed. Can eat those later. remember if I was like what you described maybe I was not sure no you weren't you weren't like the people who I described don't worry about it um there were certainly some there were there were a couple of people that stood out but you weren't one of them don't worry I know specifically two uh, yeah there's there's two that come to mind for me um but there was a lot of people. It was a weird time back then. <laughs> I think I still have the archive. I ha I think I still have the, the the Discord server archive. So like, I think it's it's all still there, like all the conversations and stuff. I think. It was the first one I made because I made I made one originally and then I made a second one and then that oh my god I'm, my energy's about to go quick get in the house go to bed hunk shoe hunk shoe hunk shoe hunk shoe <laughs> wait what 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 you can eat veggies for energy oh. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't have any veg veggies though. I don't think. I don't think I did. Did I have veggies? No. Oh. Or food from the town. I should probably. Let's maple see sap. What? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I had anything. That's okay. Well, we're learning. I could have eaten a, a the fish. Green algae, thirteen energy and five health. Yeah, I could have eaten that. Um, I want to try and put like off planty stuff. These are all kind of like hmm. these can all be like materials and stuff, and then this can be like plant things. I'll keep the fish on me in case of energy loss. Ooh, look at all my parsnips! Remember my friend just solo carrying us because he fi he fished the whole fucking day. If you get one with a star, keep it. Oh, like a, okay, one with a, okay.
go and buy some more parsnips, I suppose. I still haven't met everyone yet. I still need to meet nine people. Uh, is anyone around I can say hello to? Anyone I haven't met yet? Something? Let's go to the beach, each. We need to collect some shells. There's a chewy little guy in there. Chewy? <laughs> we can do some fishing, I suppose. While we're here. Come on. Come on! No! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. It's a herring. Cool. What do you have? 10,000 coins for a fish smoker. Place fish inside with a piece of coal to create smoked fish, which is worth double. The quality of the fish is preserved. Wow. Trout soup. That's 250 coins. That's quite expensive. Oh, that's plus 100 energy. That's why. Uh, Is a training rod stronger? No, it's not. Bamboo pole. Well, I've already got one of them, haven't I? Okay. Is this where Elliot lives? Oh wait, what's this? Question mark. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Oh, huh, okay. Locked. Oh. Recommend giving gifts to the townspeople whenever you get the chance. Okay, maybe I'll give someone this shell. I'll give it to this person. Is this person doing yoga? Hello. Um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? How do I give this to them? Oh. It's for me, thanks. There you go. Here's a shell. <laughs> Hello. Have a daffodil. <laughs> Blech, I hate this. Oh, well, fuck you then. I'm taking a break from house chores today. They all have likes and dislikes, but it's a fun tr and trial and error it. Okay. That's like, um, was it in Animal Crossing New Leaf, where it was Christmas time? You had to act as Santa. You had to give uh, all the villagers gifts and stuff like that. Some of them are just like, oh, I didn't ask for this. Um, thank Santa anyway. It's... Um, get some more parsnips. Oh, 
wow, this place is pretty big. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Then why are you inside? You're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Is that just going into people's rooms? Sniffing their duvets? I mean... Uh... Wondering where they are. <clears throat> I was doing my nightly rounds and noticed that your first parsnip was ready. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I just went, where are the kids in front of them? Oh. <laughs> there was someone selling the romanceable characters in Stardew. <laughs> oh. What's this? Sorry. Sorry, what? What? Lou? Well, this is a cute, cozy little thing, isn't it? I want to see the dog. Where's the dog? I'm just like snooping in people's houses to see where everyone is. Oh, that guy's working out. He's got a shirt off. Peek, <laughs> peek through the doll hole. I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. People are just not getting sick, I suppose. <coughs> oh my god. I've been cursed. With a cough. Damn it, I should have bought two more. Oh well. <clears throat> the goth emo boy pins were sold out. You know, I'd say this is a riveting stream, just me doing this, but some people like it. Some people, this is kind of like ASMR -y a little bit. Like, stream you can go to sleep to. Just watching me, or hearing me play Stardew Valley. what you use for the sap. Fluid obtained from trees. Poisonous. I mean, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the game. It's um, it's very chill, and it has a lot of s things in it that makes things satisfying, like cleaning things up, cutting down trees, planting things, watering them, and it's it's very chill. It's very chilled out. It would definitely be something I would be I would play while watching a stream just to kind of. Uh, 
um, drown out the silence while just doing this. I get addicted to these sort of games so easily. To be fair, I got pretty addicted to Dave the Diver um, when I did. And because of how satisfying it was. Especially, like, the sushi parts, because of, like, all the money that I get from making the sushi and everything. Like, frog! Um. And trying my hardest to, like, get as much fish as I can. Much as I can. Um, in one go. But obviously, you only have, you have a weight limit and things. Stardew Valley multiplayer stream when? God. Uh, oh no, put the pine cone in the, this one. The maple seed, yeah. What did the maple trees look like? Are there maple trees here already? Or do they look slightly different? <laughs> Yummy. Any rupees? Any rupees anywhere? Any rupees? God, there's so much grass. It's getting quite late. Uh, I think this will be it uh, for the stream. Just once I'm heading to bed and then I'll uh, be calling it. My throat is starting to irritate. <laughs> And that's usually my my sign to to log off and rest my throat. There's a mod that replaces the animals with Pokemon. Oh my god! Yeah, that's my cue to honk shoe, honk shoe. Oh, I leveled up in mining. We can craft a cherry bomb. Okay. 315 gold for my parsnips. That's good. Right. Huh? Did you hear that? What was that? I just like heard something. It was weird. It was just like an owl or something. I don't know. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, it does it. Yeah, it also saves each night, doesn't it? Your game is haunted. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for tonight's stream. Uh, definitely want to come back to this. I might just like Stardew Saturday or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> or maybe just like I just play Stardew Valley for a few Sundays or something. I don't know. But just play it until I get bored. But I hope you enjoyed this nice kind of chill stream. I had fun playing it. Uh, my schedule is going to be a bit different next week because I'm going to be off for the weekend. So I may be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to be away. Um, so 
have a good evening, guys. I will see you next Tuesday with more Paper Mario. Have a good evening. And I'll see you then. Take care, everyone. <laughs>